Some of you guys might know this, but I actually lived in Austin, Texas for over a year. It was the best year of my friggin' life. And then I got a promotion at work to move to Los Angeles. I moved in the pandemic. It was depressing, it was tough. But you know, I realized I left my heart in Austin, 100%, and I came to get it back. What I found was a burrito instead. Yes. Correction guys, it's a taco, not a burrito. I'm basically the smartest dumb person you'll ever meet. But all kidding aside, there is so much love in Austin. So much artwork, so much beauty, the people are amazing. Who wouldn't fall in love with this place? Anyways, last week I was in San Francisco, then I skied in Tahoe, and I ended up in Sacramento staying in this tiny house Airbnb, which is pretty fun. I've been on an adventurous streak lately. Uh, can you blame me after being locked down for code for a long, long time? Boy, I have a really good story to tell you. Are you guys ready for story time? Run, Forrest, run. What if he thought there was an invisible person chasing him and we just didn't know it? Wait! Run. <laughs> yeah. What's up guys, it's Chris from Pursuit of Possibility. Welcome to my channel. It's committed to sharing positive perspective and practical strategies to live life fully. I wanna tell you guys a crazy story that just happened this past week, and it's got three key takeaways. So guys, you saw my last video, I took a trip to San Francisco, I skied in Tahoe, and then ended up in a tiny house Airbnb in Sacramento. It was an awesome trip, but what I didn't tell you guys is that when I got to the airport in Charlotte on my way to San Francisco, I was coming from Fort Myers, I actually, took my backpack with my $4,000 camera that I used for this channel, I took it off, and I guess I left it either in the courtyard or in a bathroom. And I didn't realize I lost my camera in my backpack until I was about to get on my flight to San Francisco. And the attendants were shooing me in, I had to get going, the flight was gonna leave, and so I had to give my business card to a guy who worked for American Airlines and hope that this guy whose name I didn't even know would find it. I was faced with two possible choices. Number one, worry about my lost camera for the whole trip, or number two, let it go and have a great time. I personally chose the latter and I ended up having the best trip. But then I got home and people who heard about the lost camera were all really upset about it, honestly, more than I was. But the thing was, I had another trip going out to Austin, Texas, as you can see, I'm here right now, and I'd be passing through Charlotte. So there was a glimmer of hope that I would get to the airport and maybe I would find it. So I get off in the Charlotte airport and I'm a man on a mission. I immediately go over to the lost and found for the airport no dice, they don't have it. They say, check out American Airlines Lost and Found. I go over and talk to the ladies who are really sweet. And they said, hey, there's no way. Then I go to one last spot. They said, talk to uh, the folks upstairs, maybe they have it. And when I first start talking to them, they're like, nah, we, we probably don't have it, honestly. But you know what? Um, you're a decent guy, let me check again. Sometimes um, we look for something, but we don't look hard enough. Um, they might have it downstairs. So I go back downstairs to the people who originally said they didn't have the camera, and they check one more time, and oh my gosh, they come out with my black backpack, and I fall to my knees, overwhelmed with joy. They had it. Ask the ladies in the Charlotte airport, shout out to y'all at American Airlines, you're amazing. I was like literally screaming for joy. Like what? An amazing moment. So I promised three lessons, three key takeaways, and here they are. Number one, don't worry about something until you absolutely have to. I decided in that moment when I knew that I lost my $4,000 camera, that I wasn't gonna spend my time worrying and I was gonna have faith that maybe it would turn up. If I had allowed myself to worry the whole time, I would have been miserable in my trip to San Francisco, but instead I was unshackled and unburdened. I had the best time ever. And then what do you know, I ended up finding it on my way passing through Charlotte. Guys, it's kind of awkward, but my phone just died. Um, bad timing, but bonus lesson, lesson number four, never give up. Things will go wrong, but keep pushing through. Your phone might die, but if you're committed to shooting that YouTube video for your friggin' awesome audience, you keep pushing. Lesson number two, acknowledge your imperfections and then choose to manage them. Notice that I say imperfections and not weaknesses. 
All human beings are imperfect. We have little blind spots or things that we could work on basically. One of mine is that I can be a little bit absent-minded. I can tend to lose things and sometimes in the case of my $4,000 camera, expensive things and that's costly. So hey, I have to acknowledge that imperfection and I have to put a system in place to manage that and avoid some of the risks that I exposed myself to. So what I'm gonna do is going forward buy a tile and I can use that for the camera and maybe some other expensive things. And you know what, I better get a tile for my mind too because I tend to lose it a lot, especially after COVID. And lesson number three, the pain of losing something gives you the opportunity to experience the profound joy of rediscovering that which you lost. I'm not guaranteeing that when you lose something, you'll find it again. You actually are likely to never find it at all. And you have to be willing to deal with that. But if you do find that which you lost, brace yourself. You'll be overcome with joy. When I found my camera after losing it, ask the girls at American Airlines and the Lost and Found, I was practically on my knees. I was yelling with joy. It was an amazing feeling. If you lose something, not all hope is actually lost. You might just rediscover what you're looking for. Guys, I kind of lost touch with this channel for a bit when I really struggled in COVID. I was dealing with depression, but what felt lost is now found. And I'm so excited and joyful to be back. I'm gonna be pouring into this channel every week. And it is such a privilege to do that. I really love you guys. I'm committed to your success and our success. And I'm excited to grow together on this journey as we pursue what's possible for ourselves, for this world. Subscribe guys, and I'll see you next week. Love y'all, peace. Hey guys, thanks for coming on the journey. If you liked my content, if you liked the video, show some love and smash that subscribe. It's a small click for you that makes a big difference for me. And if you wanna check out some more content and get some more doses of positivity, check out some of my other videos and tell me what you think in the comments. Love y'all, peace.